everyone, welcome to the Chasing Ebenezer Show. I'm Benjamin and this is Heidi. And this is a show where we talk about stuff, play you some music, and encourage you to be creative. You are encouraged to be creative. We're starting with that from the get-go. <laughs> we just want to say, hey, thank you to all of our patrons who help yes. support us doing this show. Thank and you, thank you, thank They're you. helping us. You're helping us get our EP out. Mm-hmm. And it's still going to be out this year. Our timeline's kind of a little up in the air with... I'm pretty sure everybody's timeline yeah, exactly. is just... But we're still planning on so. it, so thank you for helping us. Thank you to our newest patrons, Steve yes. and Janet Kunica. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank guys. you. We love you. And if you're a patron out there and you haven't gotten one of your perks, send Let us, us a know. message, okay? I'm not always yeah. the most organized person. We forget things sometimes. I forget lots of things. Yeah. Yeah, well, this episode, we're going to be giving a shout out to teachers, right? That's and what this students. is about. And students. Yeah, because students have had it kind of rough this year. Yes. <laughs> teachers, parents who become teachers unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. Well done. Well, well stinking done. done. <laughs> Whether you feel like you did it perfectly or not. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, our friend William just graduated he with did. a... A music, music, something, something. Will was already awesome at music. I know. Like, why? Yeah. And now he's like getting an education just so he can tell everybody why he's awesome. <laughs> Will, we love Very you. Very humble. So yes, yeah, congratulations. congratulations, Will. All right. So favorite teachers. Well, you People know, who you well, here, something. here's the thing. I, I went to public or private school first. I went to public school for a little, very short time. And then I was homeschooled. So I've kind of did all of those. You did everything. So, you know, thank you to my parents, primarily, of course, who, who took that on once I was in, I think, you know, at some point. They took over. But I want to give a special recognition to two of my private school teachers. My kindergarten, my pre-K and kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Hoyam. Mrs. Hoyam, I've actually, we've actually been able to, we've reconnected on Facebook and... I can't say enough about Mrs. Hoyam. Okay. It probably wouldn't surprise you that I'm an emotional person. Uh, really? <laughs> a very sensitive person. I would not have. And Mrs. <laughs> Hoyam was just, and she still is, the most amazing, gracious woman. She's actually been reading kids books to kids on Facebook. So oh, thank wow. you for doing that. That's awesome. A couple of the things, other than, in addition to her patience and her create or her, her gracious was was creativity. Our class was full of music, and any any creative thing you know you could think of to do math or to do anything. She mm. was teaching it, and so I just owe so much of everything in my life to her. And then Mrs. Beard was my first grade teacher, and I loved how. She kind of made art and reading go together, and Mm. so that really inspired me a lot. So thank you to you, and there's other teachers out there, but just want to recognize um, both of them today. So That's good. How about you? I've got three. You teach me sometimes. I have three. I I do, but I also make you cry when I teach you, so. Not all the time. (laughs) That one time we did a guitar lesson. That one time that we never forgot about. (laughs) Um so when I was in high school, there were three teachers that really, um, really stood out to me. The first one was a guy by the name of Kevin Mooney, and uh, he was my creative writing teacher. And the thing about Kevin Mooney was that, one, he himself was just really creative. He played guitar, and I was into guitar and writing songs, and he encouraged, like, we would get together, like, after school, and I remember just sharing songs with one another and talking about stuff, and... That was really, um, he befriended me and that was really cool. He would, uh, and he was always interested in like writing stuff. Like I remember the first creative writing class I took with him, he was writing like a short story about World War II. Might've been World War I, but I'm pretty sure it was World War II. And so, um, yeah, when I'm around, he was like one of the first creative like adults, other than my parents, of course, who were both very creative that, um, I don't know, that inspired me to get interested in stuff. And so he was one. Arlene Reinhardt, who is one of my Facebook friends. Oh. She was an amazing teacher. Uh, I had her for two classes. I had her for English. And I had her for um, a class called Life in Literature, which I thought was a psychology class. But it was more (laughs) of like reading books 
and and talking life, which was really really fun. I believe she also like put she, I was this wedding just ring get, together she right did. here. She did. I she's a gemologist or was. I don't know what she's doing now, but um, yeah. Thank I, you. That Thank was. You. <laughs> Uh, and she was always someone that like I, I got to have conversations with her and my third teacher, uh, Jill Williamson, who was my journalism teacher. They just what it was about them. It, I mean, yeah, there's content, but it was more of like they actually took interest in me as a person and almost crossed um, all three of them crossed into that realm of friend. Uh, and so I didn't Teachers just, can be your friends. I, yeah, I know. I know. And so all three That's of them great. were my friends that. and I am I, I am eternally grateful for all of them so yeah, yeah. so we want to hear from you who is one of your favorite teachers and what did they teach you mm. and they don't even have to actually be quote unquote a working real teacher. teacher a real teacher <laughs> that sounds so bad but yeah paid um, for teaching you not necessarily yeah you know and i think that a lot of the teachers in my life i've never met them because some of them are not alive anymore, but some of the books I read mm, mm-hmm. and some of the tutorials, things that I watch, they're teachers as well. But thank you for the specific people like Mrs. Hoyman in my life who've invested invested personally in my life. Yeah. So your prompt for this week, think deeply. Who has, <laughs> who has taught you something? Who has taught you something? And would you consider writing them, whether it's on Facebook whether it's a letter, you know, those handwriting things that you stick in an envelope and send through the mail, uh, and let them know. Uh, I know that when I receive, like, thank yous from people for, like, when I'm when I'm a pastor and stuff, how I've impacted them, that really means a lot to me, and it encourages me to keep going. So you might be encouraging them to keep going. So well done, teachers well and done, students teachers. of 2020. Yes. You did it. Yes. Good job. Good job. So this next song we're going to do is Yeah, this is yours. a song I wrote quite a while ago. This song is called Eyes and this was it's on our album. And this song really for me was a way of acknowledging that I don't know much in life <laughs> and that along the way we can kind of lose our childlike wonder. Mm. And when you read the Bible, Jesus was always talking constantly talking about children and how valuable they are and they get it when Mm. big people like us don't yeah so we're gonna do eyes for you (laughs) i wasn't meaning to be funny i just don't the older i get the less i know so we love you (laughs) love you so much and we'll uh see you again oh i'm so strong i'm so strong (laughs) Of a child, I look on, hoping, expecting miracles. But with eyes of a man, I shut them, doubting, rejecting miracles. How can I know the right way to go? Lost and confused, I'm falling. How can I know the right way to go? Lost and confused, I'm falling. So I cry out, I need understanding, and I shout out that I want. Small of 
truth And eyes full of mercy Eyes not afraid to listen Eyes full of grace And holy anger As the sea right